me, Silly Miss Lily, and I'm so excited to play with you today. Today, we're going to learn all of our different fun colors through different kids' crafts and activities with things you probably have around the house, like Legos or rocks, leaves, pom-poms, paint, and so much more. I'm so excited. It's going to be so much fun. Come on! a fun little caterpillar activity with some pom-poms and some cute little caterpillars. Come on! Let's do a fun little caterpillar activity. First, let's count how many faces we have. We have one, two, three, four, five. And I have these pom-poms. How about we build longer caterpillars? This one says one. Let's add one pom-pom. This one says two. Let's add two pom-poms. One, two. This one says three. Let's grab three pom-poms. One, two, and three. This one says four. Let's add four pom-poms. One, Two, three, four. Whoop. This one says five. Let's add five pom poms. One, two, three, four, and five. We did it. Look at our cute little caterpillars. Thank you for helping me. One, two, three. Three for this one. Four. Don't forget four. One, two, three, four. Nice. One, two, three. Is it longer? It's longer, yeah. Look, it's almost reaching the end of the paper. When do you see four five? Well, here you go, little tea little people. Draw, draw. Let's make this really cute tune craft activity together, and we'll need a fork to make the stamps of the flowers and some paint. Let's do it together. First, I'll grab some paint so we can use the fork to stamp it, and let's use fun colors. How about? Pink, Ooh, yellow, let's see, Ooh, orange, how about some purple, and, ooh, how about some red? That's going to be so pretty. All right, now let's stamp some tulips together. Let's do our fun tulip activity. I'll use a fork and kind of stamp it into the paint. First, let's do yellow. It'll go press it on, press it on. Now, how about orange? And we'll press it on. Let's do another one right here. Next, ooh, let's do pink. And I'll press it on. Let's do another one over here. Ooh, how about some red tulips? And we'll press it on. And we'll press one on over here. And ooh, how about purple? Let's see, let's make a cute purple one right here. And right here, and maybe one more over here. Let's see, I feel like we need maybe one more right here for fun. That's really cute. Then, let's see, how about we add some green stems. One over here. Another one. Something else 
we could do, we could even add a little yellow sun over here. I'll do a circle with some sun rays coming out. Line, line, line. And what if we add just a couple of little clouds? They're usually white, but we'll use blue to kind of outline them. And look at this beautiful picture we made. Let's count how many tulips we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Wow, we made 12 beautiful tulip flowers together. Now you can hang this picture up or give it to someone as a card. Thanks for painting with me. If you press this fork in the paint and then set it down in the paper and press it down, lift it up, made a flower. You wanna do it again? Um, and you have that stem. Oh yeah, I, I just used a paintbrush. Cute stem, my friend. Smash in blue. Smash. I just smashed it in blue. Nice. Maybe here. Mm. There's so many flowers. That's cute. All around, all around. I made a portrait face. This is the only part. <laughs> <laughs> That's so silly. Another fun activity you can do is some paint stamping, but with some food items. We're gonna use the leftover pieces. So if you have leftover lettuce, or we'll cut off this chunk so it'll be leftover of onion. I also have an apple and a potato. And we'll just use pieces of them to stamp really cool designs. It's gonna be so much fun. Let's do it together. Let's do some really fun stamping with our leftover food items. First, let's do the lettuce. And I'll grab a paintbrush. And how about we use the color pink to paint on top of it. And now let's stamp it on together, ready? We're gonna flip it and press down, press. Wow, and it made a really cute flower. Let's see, let's do one more up here. Press. Oh, let's see if we add a little red to it, maybe like a pink or red kind of flower. Press. Wow, really cool. And you know what? Let's try this onion as well. Oh, and how about we do yellow? Okay, ready? We're gonna flip it. And press. Wow, that's cool. Let's do another one up here. Press. Wow. How awesome. Let's try purple on this potato. P -p Ooh, purple. Starts on letter P. P -p purple. And potato starts on P. -p potato. How silly. All right, let's stamp this one on. Wow, fun! Let's do another one up here. How cool! You know what? This apple reminds me of a pumpkin this way. Let's grab a paintbrush and a little bit of orange. And let's paint it orange and see if we can stamp some pumpkins. Ooh, okay, that's just fun. And you know what we could do? Let's use a thin brush and a little bit of green. And we can draw stems from these flowers and make it a bouquet. And you know what? I think if we use these potato halves, we could even stamp some leaves. Let's give it a try. Ooh, this is very cute. Look at this beautiful picture we made together. Thank you so much. Yeah! 
That's good. I'm an apple. Oh, okay. What color? Purple. I'm getting stamp it. Go ahead. Is this you get stuck? Yeah. Go ahead and stamp it. It's a mermaid. You think maybe I'll just pick me up an apple? Maybe. Whoa. Is that like an apple seed? A little bit. Almost like a purple apple, right? But I'm gonna do it. A orange with yellow with purple with blue with pink. Okay, that's gonna be very cool. Nice. Mommy, I wonder if we can just get some paint on here and roll it out Let's see on it. here. Yeah. Then dip a fruit in this paint, then dip it out, and then stamp it in here. Oh my gosh, I love it. Let's do a really fun activity with some letters, and we'll use pom-poms and some clothespins to do some stamping with the paint. Let's do it together, come on. Here's another fun activity you can do with pom-poms and clothespins. And if you pinch the pom-pom in the clothespin and dip, 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 dip it in some paint, you can then stamp it on a piece of paper. Wow. And we got the letter A. How fun. Oh, let's do it again. And we'll use some purple paint. Oh, dot, 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 dot. A line down. And another line around. I wonder if we do one more. That's the letter B. How fun. Let's do it one more time. Let's do it with a green piece of paper. How about we use some red? And we'll make a line go all the way around, all the way around, all the way around, all the way around, all the way around. And we made the letter C. How fun. Yeah! Mom, I have a fun activity. Okay, what's your activity? Tell me. Watch. Do a paint. Okay. Do a little letter. What letter would you like? Y. Letter Y? Mm. Okay. Y. All right, what's your activity? What are you thinking? Do a little paint. Okay. And then do. Oh, wow. Girl. You just wrote a letter Y. You can write. Wait. Do you want to do another letter? Yes. Okay. What color paper would you like? I would like this color. Bring it over. And then what letter are you thinking? Z. Good letter. Mommy, okay. do a yellow. Ooh, okay. And then do, watch this. Let me see. Okay. Do you want a new piece of paper? Yes. This one I'm gonna take. All right, grab it. Let's write some. What, what kind of letters do you want to write? I'm gonna write X. Okay. X okay. is a really good letter. Watch this. Let me see. Dip it in purple paint. Okay. And then stamp it down. Oh, I like that. Look, we're gonna get three pom poms. Okay. And then put them in all paints. Wow. What? Monsters. We're gonna make monsters. So, uh, I, I, mouth. Dip, dip, dip. Let's do a fun activity and create little bug friends together. I've got a little ladybug and a little bumblebee. Buzz, buzz, buzz. We'll need some rocks, paint, and some googly eyes. Come on. Here's another fun activity you can do if you find some rocks and you can grab them, collect them, and then paint them. How about we paint this one red? We'll grab some red paint. Ooh, and how about this one? We'll do yellow. I'll grab 
have a little black paint and a small thin brush and we can do polka dots here and turn this rock into a little ladybug and what if we do little stripes here and turn this rock into a little bumblebee buzz 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 bumblebee and then you can use the paint to draw little eyes boop, boop, boop. and a smile or you can use the googly eyes and make silly animals out of rocks. Buzz, 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 buzz! I'm gonna make a bumblebee. All right, let's grab another rock. This rock. Oh, yeah. Yeah! You want me to hold the rock for you? Pink, 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 pink. Eye, eye, mouth. Cute! Hello! I'm gonna do a little red, and then I'm gonna see what I made. On to the yellow. Sure. What does it all make? Let's see. It kind of looks orangish, red and yellow like that. Mm -hmm. Let's create a fun little sticky frame together for a little nature scavenger hunt. We'll just need some popsicle sticks, some tape, some stickies or glue to keep the sticks together, and that's it. Let's make it together. Come on. Here's a fun activity you can make. We use some big popsicle sticks and stickies to create a frame. And then we'll add tape to make one side sticky. First, let's put on these stickies and put this frame together. And look at this square we made. I'll use this to prop it up and we'll use sticky tape. Now we made a little sticky frame. Let's get this out of the way. Now we made a little sticky frame and it's sticky on one side, but not sticky on the other. And you can take it outside and as you find pretty flowers or leaves, you can stick them on making a really pretty picture. We'll add some clover leaves. Let's see. This red leaf. I found this beautiful flower outside. Let's see what else. How about this green leaf? And some more cute clovers. There you go. Thanks for making a nature frame with me. Very big. Yes. Like this big. So big? It's gonna be so big. And like this, and you flash me in the belly. Baby. I already found the leaf. Well, let me see. You wanna stick it on? Yeah. Oh, I love that. Great leaf. What else do you see? More leaves. Okay, you wanna stick them on? Yeah. I don't want to be ready so much. Yeah. Do you want to stick them on, my friend? Yes. You ready? I have one. That's a great one. Two. Okay, one, two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven. I love it. You want to pick up some more? One in the dirt. Let's try to be here. Did you want to slide down? Yeah. Okay. Oh, my hand, little uh, mama bunny. You ready? <sighs> wow. Yes, run, 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 run. I think there's maybe some carrots growing. What carrots? And tomatoes. Let's do a really fun activity with some leaves, paint, and some rollers. It's gonna be so much fun. Come on. Here's a fun activity you can do with some leaves that you find around. I've got some red ones, green ones, long ones, short ones, green ones, and more. 
And what we're gonna do is apply a little paint. Let's do a little bit of yellow. We'll put it on the leaf. And then we'll place it down. And let's use a roller to roll it. Ready? Let's roll and I'll press it down. Roll, 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 roll. Let's lift it up. Wow, we got a cute little leaf design. Let's try it again over here. That's fun. Oh, let's do this really big one. And let's see, what if we do red? All right, now we'll flip it. And let's roll it to press it down. How cool is that? Let's do another one over here. Wow, let's do some more. And then we'll place it here and roll it all around, all around. Wow, isn't that fun? Let's do some more over here. Nifty, it's leaving a little leaf design. That's something you can do. Make a really cute craft. All right, pick a color, any color. I want to me. Hello, what color would you like? I'm gonna take this painting. Brush okay. And then do a little paint. All right, and then brush that on on the leaf. Mix it up with red. Mommy wants this. Mm. Stamp it. Yeah. It's right there. I like that. I will put it to the side. Okay, and then what are you thinking? And then, get, I need a, one of these yellow painting brush. Go ahead. And I'm gonna put it in some yellow. Okay. Put it onto the roller. I think that's gonna be fun. <laughs> and then put it right here, and then kind of paint all around. And, and then roll it, roll it out. I like that. And then put a little blue on there. Okay. And then throw it into the blue, Ooh. into the yellow. What does that make? That kind of makes like a green color. And what about if we put a little purple on here? Mm -hmm. And then roll it in there. What does it then make? Ooh, like a purple, green, blue. Sweet. Let's make this really cool tree together. All you need is some paint, some leaves, and a little bit of glue. Let's do it together. Come on. First, I'll grab a little brown paint, and I'll make a tree trunk. And then we'll make some branches. All right. Next, we'll grab our leaves. Put a little glue. And stick it on. Look at this beautiful tree we made together. Thanks for helping me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can even do more. Ooh! Oh, there's a little one there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Leaves all around, all around, all around. And the leaves were all around. And on that tree, there was some leaves. <laughs> the cutest leaves. No, baby, over here. That you ever did see. Who's gonna put leaves all around, all around? I need some help. And on that tree, there was more leaves. The cutest leaves that we ever did leave. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, put this one on. Let's make this really cute craft together. Making these cute flowers, and all you need is some paint, a canvas, and some rope. Let's do it together. Come on. 
For this activity, we'll first need to paint our canvas white. So let's do that first. Our canvas was dry, but by put, putting the new paint on it, we'll make it kind of slippery. So when we slide the string to make the flowers, it'll slide a lot easier and better creating the design we want. Next, we'll grab our strings. I'll put the pink paint here and we're gonna place the string right in it. Kind of submerge it all the way. I'll make sure it's nice and covered in all of this pink. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna lift it up with all this paint. And we're gonna place it on the canvas in like an S position. Isn't that so cool? Let's do it one more time with this cute pink color. We'll press it all in so it's all soaked with it. Lift it up. And let's do one lower in a cute little S position. Kind of like a backwards S almost. Now that it's all down, we're gonna pull it straight down on the count of three. One, two, three. I'll place this pink one down. And how about we add, what if we add a few yellow? We're gonna pull on three. One, two, three. And let's add one more yellow flower. One, two, three. Another cute flower. Thank you so much for helping me. Yeah! I'm gonna do one with yellow. Okay, let me put it all the way in again. Yeah! Wow! And on that squiggly was yellow paint. You know how to make S's? Yeah. I know how to make S's. <laughs> yeah, you do. You can just be a squiggly or just a line even. That's the cool thing about art. You can just make it how you want to. Just Look, it made like lines this way and then a swirly one this way and then this yellow and pink are mixing there. I'm going to kind of yeah. push it back into the paint okay. this way. What? I think that will make. What if it's a cute yellow bunny tail? Just painting, painting. Let's do this really fun activity together and all you need is a little balloon. And you can also use a little piece of foil or some parchment or wax paper. Let's do it together. Come on. Here's another fun activity you can do and all you need is a balloon and some paint. And we're just gonna go dip, dip, stamp, stamp. Ooh. Let's do some orange. Boop, boop. How about some pink? Boop. Boop, boop. Oh, that's mixing some colors. That's really cute. Something else you can do is if you have some parchment paper, you can crinkle it up, crinkle it up. And you can use that as your little stamper. Here, and here, and here. And you can also use some foil. Oh, it's so crinkly, crinkly. And we can draw little stems to make this a beautiful bouquet of flowers. Here we go. We can put it in a beautiful, oh, how about we do a blue vase? What a beautiful picture we made. Great work. Oh, 
skimp it on and go pop. There you go. Oh, you do more of them. What? And then you can do a different color too. And then add them all together orange. all around. Orange. Okay, go ahead. Ooh, slipped. Slipped it up. Not too hard. You kind of want to just gently press it on. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. And then stop that balloon and okay. then go. There you go. You need to put it all around, all around. Ooh! I'm putting it in the wind. Okay. Let's do a really fun activity together. All you need is some rubber bands. Some paint and a little pan. Let's do it together. Come on! Here's another fun activity you can do. And all you need is a little pan, put some paper in it, and you wanna stretch the rubber bands all the way around. All right, now that we have all of the rubber bands on, let's see how many we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can use as many as you'd like, and then we're gonna add paint onto the rubber band. It's gonna be so silly. I'll add a little purple. Now that we've got the paint on our rubber bands, we're just gonna strum it like a fun guitar. Ready? Strum. Whoa, do you see that? Let's do orange. Strum. Whoa. Let's do red. Whoa. How about green one? And blue. Wow. And you can just keep strumming them, make a really pretty painting a really pretty song. Thanks for painting with me. You just pull them up and then let them go. Nice. Yes. You made like a color guitar. Well, what's this? Hmm. It's with paint. New paint guitar. I got to this side. Okay. Get a painting brush. Okay. The paint paint. I'm gonna do painting painty, and then I'm gonna get a little paint. Uh huh. And then paint paint on here. I love it. I'm gonna strum it down. Okay. I'm and gonna. I'm excited to see what it does with the mixed color strumming. Okay. I'm gonna do. It's person everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Mommy, yeah. you paint these rubber bands. I'm going to strum them down. Okay, let's do it. I'll use your paint. Paint with my paint. I'll do a bad one, and this way, and this way, and this way. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no. Well, let's do this fun activity together and all you need is a muffin pan and some paint. Let's do it together, come on. Here's a fun activity you can do with a muffin pan. I flipped it upside down and let's use the color red to paint these circles. And let's turn it over and we're gonna stamp it onto a piece of paper. Stamp. Let's add a little stem and they'll keep, look like cute little apples. Maybe we can give them cute little green leaves. Let's count our apples together. One, two, three. Six. We made six apples together. Great job. Let's flip this pan and then stamp it down and then lift it up. Apples. You made an apple tree. Want to stamp it again and make more apples? I'm going to do a stems. Okay. <laughs> and then I'll show stems. you another little fun part. 
Ooh, I like that. Let's do a fun paint activity and all you need is some marbles or balls and then some paint in a pan. We're gonna roll them around and paint. It's gonna be so much fun, come on. Here's a fun activity you can do with some paint and some little balls or marbles. First, let's add some paint in here. I'll do pink. Now, we'll place a little marble in each. Roll it, roll it, roll it all around. We'll even add more marbles. And now we'll just let them roll and make their own cool painting. Wow, when I tilt it this way, they all go down this way. Wow. How fun. Yeah. You do the yellow one? Yeah. You you just do all them but big circle like ketchup. Ketchup circle. Is that good? Yeah. I'm gonna get this ready. <laughs> There's two of them. Yeah. Silly. Okay. This silly. is gonna be kind of a silly one, because look. You can do a few different things. You can put these marble balls in and then roll them around in the paint. And then they're gonna paint. Or you can also use this this little kind of bead string. I'm gonna get a bead string. And then you can twirl it, twirl it, twirl it. This one. If you want, we can paint on this poster paper with it. Stamp it, stamp it. Now roll them around. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. That one got away. Where are you going, little pain ball? <laughs> yeah, where are you even going? You wanna do a little handstand right here? <laughs> Good work. Let's do a fun activity with some cars, some markers, and some of these dot stickers. Come on. Here's a fun activity you can play at home. If you have some cars, markers, and a little bit of tape, you can use the tape to attach the markers to your cars and then drive them to draw. This car says, I'll drive in a triangle shape. Drive, 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 drive. And you can drive them all around making different fun designs. And another way you can play is if you get these stickers and put one on this side, one on this side. Let's do green and green. Next, we'll use our cars to connect the colors. We'll use this car. First, I have a dark blue dot. Do you see another one on this side? Yeah, right here. Let's drive to it to connect them. Drive, drive. Good work. Next one, we have a green one. Do you see the green one on this side? Yeah, right here. Ready? Let's drive. Drive, drive to the green. Next, I have a per pink one. Do you see the pink one on this side? Yeah, right here. Ready? Let's drive over. Drive, drive. Next one is yellow. Do you see the yellow one on this side? Right here. Ready? Let's drive on over. Let's drive on over. Drive, drive. And we connected the colors. Here's an orange one. Do you see the orange circle on this side? Yeah, right here. Let's connect the matching colors. I have the green sticker on this side. Where's the green sticker on the other side? <gasps> yeah, ready? Drive over. And you connect them. Okay, you can do from this side to this side or from this side to this side. Which color would you like to start with? This side. Okay, drive it over to the matching color. Yeah! All right, what's the next color, pink? Yeah. 
Okay, where do you want to drive it to? We gotta find it. I think it might be over here it's hiding. There it goes, car. Mommy, put another one right here. Another of these right here. Let's do a fun letter activity and all you need is some pipe cleaners. Let's do it together. Come on. Here's a fun activity. You can play using some pipe cleaners and you can create little fun letters. Let's see, we can bend this one into letter C and maybe this one. Ooh, let's use this pink one into letter A. And then how about this blue one into letter T. And if we sound it out, it spells k at k at cat. Now we have the letter C A T, and they sound make the sounds k at k at cat. What's kind of silly is if we keep the letters A and T. But we change this first letter from C to B. Then we sound it out B at. B at bat. You know what else is silly? If we keep this A and this T, but we change this first letter instead of B to an H. Now we sound it out hat, hat. How silly. Let's keep this letter A and T. Let's switch this first letter to letter M. Now it sounds out mat, mat. Isn't that so silly? All of these words sound similar and because they have similar letters at the end, they sound similar so they rhyme. Cat, bat, rhyming words. Bat, hat, rhyming words. Hat, mat, rhyming words. Isn't that so cool? And you can use this to learn how to read the smaller words, to sound out the letter and put it together. Let's do it again. So let's sound it out. K at cat. Next one is b at bat. This is letter H that makes a h sound h at hat. Letter M makes the M mm sound mat, mat. Thanks so much for reading with me. Mat. Yeah. Hat. Bat. The word's cat. The word's that. Cat. Yeah, let's do one by one. I was going this way. Yeah. Well, I'm going to do fun activity when you draw. Okay, okay. okay. Show me what about A I A L. Good L. I I A L. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you do one, and I'm gonna spell it out. Okay, okay, okay. How about P U P Uh P P P. If we keep this U and this P, so we still have the up sound instead of P. What if we did a C here? So it sound out. Uh, uh, yeah. And then what if it was just the U and the P? Ah. Uh, ah. 
up. Up. That's it. Cat. Bat. Hat. Mat. Rat. You just hat. read all those. Mump. Mump is a good one. <laughs> Mump. Mump. <laughs> it's you, a you like Mump. Okay, Mump. Mm. I think that would be maybe M U M P. Mump. I think it'd be like that. Mump. Mump. <laughs> Mump. <laughs> Wow, this was so much fun. Thank you so much for learning all about different colors with me and painting and crafting and doing so many different fun kids activities and crafts. I'm really proud of you. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you're looking for more of our videos, make sure to subscribe and search for Paisley's Corner with Silly Miss Lily. And I'll see you then. Bye.